scanners. You want them, we've got them. But which scanner should you buy? We've got the whole lineup at visionminer.com slash 3D scanners, but we get the questions a lot. Which one's right for my project? Are you reverse engineering? Are you scanning people? Are you, do you need full color? Do you need metrology grade accuracy? I'm gonna break it down for you today and show you exactly the difference between the whole lineup of Shining 3D's Einscan 3D scanners and Freescan 3D scanners at visionminer.com slash scanners where we sell and support and have all the accessories for these amazing measuring tools. So let's just start out at the top or the bottom rather, which is the Einstar. Now this little guy is very inexpensive. Really just a hobbyist grade scanner with some very powerful internals. It's very small. It's entirely handheld, it does full color, and it uses infrared scanning, so you can do hair and people and stuff like that, and you can do pretty well with objects. But I will say, it's a hobbyist scanner. In comparison to all the other options on this table right now, it really doesn't hold the light. But for the budget, the experience with this thing is a hundred times better than pretty much anything at the same price point. That brings me to the Einscan SP. This is the next one that actually can be used for professional applications. Now, specifically fixed scanning turntable scans, you can put this on a tripod and scan an object from multiple angles and move it around, but mostly this is a tripod scanner. So you set your object on here, anything smaller than a basketball, and you can get really high resolution, really good scans, and it also does color, but it's structured light, so it struggles with dark objects, reflective objects, things like that. So it's good if you got a ton of small parts to scan at a good resolution. I believe it's about 40 to 50 micron resolution. And it's a good scanner. It's pretty good. That's pretty inexpensive as well. But if you're a professional, you're probably gonna wanna step it up a notch. The next turntable scanner, the Pro HD. Let me just move this out of the way. So the Pro HD has been around a while. And they've upgraded the projectors a lot. So it has very bright structured light. Still struggles with some dark objects and reflectives, but it's a lot better than the previous versions. This is also handheld, so that's kind of nice, unlike the SP you saw there. You can do handheld scanning with this. I will say it's nowhere up to snuff with the H2, HX, and those other scanners, but it still does a pretty darn good job if you're mostly doing turntable scans. That brighter projector also really helps get different types of objects and surfaces, so over the SP, if I'm doing turntable stuff and a lot of it, this will be a much more versatile option. Really then, it's still at a good price, but there's maybe even a better option in the handheld realm, which would be the Einscan H2. We'll talk about the HX in a minute. Now the H2 actually just recently came out and they upgraded a lot of things from the original H. So this is pretty much the best color scanner. It's all handheld uses infrared or white light, but it'll capture really good detail, really good color texture. It's also pretty good at large objects. The IR and whatnot has a very large field of view, so if you wanna do a full car, especially if that car's got color decals, this is your best option. If you're doing AR, VR, or video games, or miniaturizing people, the H2 is pretty much gonna be my number one go-to choice because it's designed for that, especially people. This is the one that's really, really good at people, when you need full color. By the way, the H2 is the latest version of the H. Moving right along, we've got the HX, the big brother of the H and H2. So the HX adds lasers, blue lasers, and that really, really helps with dark objects, reflective objects, shiny objects, and it also upgrades the accuracy to 40 microns. So you're getting much more accurate scans, and it's just excellent for reverse engineering just about anything because those lasers are gonna work on just about every surface. Now it also does have structured light mode where it uses structured blue light. You can see a video I scanned the entire back of a transit van very easily actually with that structured light mode and no markers. The lasers do always require markers, at least on the HX and the Freescan combo. We'll get to this Freescan Trio in a second. Now, this one, oh man, I tell you, it's a go-to, it's a workhorse. We got hundreds and hundreds of these in the field, pretty much nothing but positive reviews. They last a long time, they don't really break, there's not many technical issues, and frankly, we've been really happy with it, and so have all our customers. So this is a great one, hard to go wrong, and for the price point, it's very good. This is really the baseline 
for high-end professional scanning. But some of you are gonna need metrology grade, accuracy. You're gonna need to be able to inspect your parts. If you're in a machine shop, obviously you want the accuracy for reverse engineering, but for inspection, that opens up a whole new gamut of workflows and things that you can use these scanners on to save time and money. I should also mention, most of these do come in cases. So the Pro HD, the Einstar, they come in these nice, really actually high quality, nice soft cases. They are, it's like a hard outer shell covered in fabric. Really, really nice, just compact. You can take them anywhere, really good to have. And then once you get to the HX, you get a big old box like this, and this will fit an airline overhead bin, so you can take it on the plane with you. Comes with the calibration board in there. Everything fits inside, cables, cable management, all that sort of stuff. And you can also put markers on the box, as we've done here, to use it as a scanning surface in laser mode. So really, really handy. But then we get to the FreeScan combo, which comes in this case, which Really nice case. They compacted everything down and you've got it all right inside. So you got your FreeScan combo, of course. This one's really my favorite, the FreeScan combo, because it just fits in the hand really nice. It's made out of metal, it's super tight and compact, and it's got all the laser modes. So you get 26 lines, seven lines, and single line. But you also get the infrared out of the H2. You don't get the color, but you get the infrared. So you get a really big field of view. I've got a scan of coal back here that we did in probably less than 60 seconds, and it just nails it. So it's not necessarily for scanning people per se, but the speed at which it scans makes it actually a really good application if you don't need the full color. So this is also metrology grade, inspection grade, 20 micron accuracy. That's 0.02 millimeters. Very highly accurate, and you can actually scan all the way down to 0.01 millimeter point distance or resolution. So you can get ridiculously detailed scans. You take this thing, or the HX for that matter, and you run it on a carbon fiber plate with the resin, and you'll see the individual strands of carbon fiber. It's absolutely amazing. So, really good one here, and again, it comes with this great case with everything you need right there inside. You keep your markers up top. It's actually a good thing to mention, all these scanners come with like three to 5,000 markers, so that's not something you have to buy with the scanner. It's really down the line when you run out in six months to a year, depending how much you're using the markers. So that's awesome option, really, really good. Great to use, just a joy. I didn't think it was gonna get better than the HX, and then they gave me the free scan, and we were like, okay, this is awesome. Lastly, we have the big brother, the free scan Trio. Now this one is pretty awesome because it's basically the free scan combo, but it's a lot bigger, and it allows you to do 98 laser lines, which means you can actually scan in laser mode with that 0.02 millimeter, actually 20 microns, without markers. So you can get the accuracy of laser or large areas without putting a bunch of markers down all over it. So if you're scanning cars or underbodies or engine bays or large parts, you can scan those. Now, you can scan even larger parts with the photogrammetry mode because they included these scale bars. Now these are magnetic. You can stick it on anything metal and it'll stay. But this bar is programmed to see and determine how big the object is in relation to it so that you can go over not just six feet at a time without losing the volumetric accuracy, but 20, 30, 40 feet, like huge scans. Think airplanes, think entire cars in one go, that kind of thing. That's what this thing enables. A little more expensive, but man, if that's what you're doing, then it's absolutely worth it every penny. And again, comes in this nice box that holds absolutely everything you need and also fits in an airline overhead bin. As far as accessory to go, you know, what are you, you going to have to buy software, you're going to have to buy uh, all those markers all the time, you know, different things. There's a couple things that we make here and that we use here and that we include with every scanner and that is a can of disappearing scanning spray, ASAP. Very, very good stuff. Basically, it disappears in a number of hours, but there's different versions also. So this one's about two to four hours, whereas this one's 24 to 36 hours in my experience. And then you've got transparent. Now this is really just a dulling spray. So if you're on a highly reflective but colorful surface where you wanna capture color, if it's super shiny, it's gonna have a hard time. But if you mat it down with the transparent, it has a lot easier time capturing that. We carry all the different markers and different sizes of markers. And we also make these scanning pyramids, which are super handy. If you don't wanna stick a bunch of markers on an object, you can just place these all around and you'll have 
plenty of markers for your lasers to track with. Now, there's a new version of this coming out very soon. And again, we include a can of the spray and a pack of the pyramid markers with every scanner we sell free of charge. That's us one of the benefits of buying from Vision Miner. But on top of that, you get our support and you get our team. Now, we train pretty much everybody in the office how to use these things. So anybody that picks up the phone can at least give you some tips and tricks, but more so, we're here to help you. You know, we've got them all, so you can send us a part and we'll figure out the best one to scan it with. And we'll do that live on a video demo with you. No slides or presentations or corporate BS, stuff like that. We're just gonna answer your questions and show you what you wanna see. These are just awesome scanners. And there's a really good chance it can work for your application, but I wanna make sure of that. And I want my team to get on demos with you to make sure it's gonna work before we sell you one. Because the last thing I wanna do is for you to get it and it doesn't work. If you check out all our scanning videos, it's just me and some other guys just scanning stuff and showing you the workflow. If you got questions or if you want a one-on-one -on -one with one of the guys on the team, then give us a call, shoot us an email, we'll schedule out a demo or we'll just answer your phone questions right there on the spot or you send us an email with pictures of what you're doing and we'll be like, ah, you might need this one or that one. Even if it's something we don't sell, we're gonna make the proper recommendation to get you moving in your business. So you can save time, save money, you're using calipers and rulers and all kinds of you know measuring tapes and stuff right now it's incredible how much time these devices can really save you we're here to help you figure out the right thing for your business thanks so much for watching if you like content like this wants more of it or have questions leave them in the comment below and hit that like button subscribe if you want but either way have a positive rest of your day and i'll see you on the next video